all right guys welcome to the channel i'm the goods on youtube tg so good everywhere else all right so there's an update to the nba 2k tools um the program that helps you edit rosters if you're playing nba 2k 23 on pc okay so right now i'm on louis twitter and it says version 1.1 but i'll let you know as of today in the u.s it's october 20th and there's actually a version 1.02 so you can either click here or you have the option to uh pull up 2k tools if you already have it installed let me pull it up you can go to 2k tools and then update and it'll tell you the latest version which is 1.02 and um you can click update here but it's just gonna it's just gonna give you the run around. So let me go to. I mean, I'll show you what it does. When you go to update, it's just gonna take you to NLSC. Which it pulled up this window for me, and then it tells you you need to go here for the 2K23 tool, which also sends you here. So instead of clicking all of that, I'm just gonna give you guys to go ahead to just use the link from Twitter. Okay. Had to say all of that. So everybody who's using it, no matter how you're using it understands it's all taking you to the same place. So you want to go here and then you'll be able to see the notes right here. It, it tells you everything that's been added. Um, it says added personality name showcase and contract thought for player editing added player overall rating tag to player list and editing window. So you can see, basically you'll see the rating change in real time, which uh, we'll go over it. And then he fixed a couple of bugs, which is great news. So all you gotta do is click that little download button right there, which I've already downloaded this. So let me close up this tool. Uh, I've already downloaded this. And so I just need to install it to the correct place which it already has here. So I'm just gonna click install. All right, so now I can press run. All right, so now when I click update, it tells me that I have the most up-to-date version of the tool. And as you can see at the top, the game is not running at this time. So I'm going to come back with the game running to show you the new feature. Um, and I'll have more tutorials, more in depth tutorials coming very soon, but say stay on the vid. I'll show you what's happening here with the new version. Okay. So now I have the game up and running. Everything is going smoothly with the new update. Um, as you can see here, whenever the game is up and running, you want to make sure this here is showing as running. And if it's not showing running, you may want to restart the tool. Okay. And I'll do a video on troubleshooting the tool um, a little later. I'll do that video separately. So I've probably going to be doing a lot of videos on this, but let's jump into the roster. So when I go to players, the game is loaded up. And the tool loads whatever roster, the default roster that the game has. Now, I would go and show you the roster screen in game, but I'm not going to do that. Let's actually go to play now. Let's go to let's just go in and jump into quick play with the NBA teams. And then now th I think this is a modded version of the team select that I have going on here. But I wanted to show you guys. Let me bring back up the tool. So, like, I have the tool up, and let's look at. Let's just look at the Celtics. So it says all players. We can select here, and then we can start typing in the word Celtics. And that that's new functionality for this tool. It's new. It wasn't there last year. This is great. So I click on Celtics. All right, so we see Marcus Smart, he's an 82, right? So let's click Marcus Smart, let's double click him, and here we are. We got Marcus Smart, let's go to his attributes. We can see he's an 82 here and in game. Now, if I start messing around with his attributes, let's see, it doesn't drop. Okay, on this screen, it's not dropping, but let me see if I go away. Let me 
go away from the team and come back. He's still in 82. He's still in 82. Let's see. So let me let me back out and go back to quick play. He's still in 82 there. That's funny. All right, so let me click off. He's a He's gone down 9, but he hasn't changed here. I don't know why that is. I thought it would change here. Okay, well, it's not changing there. So, this is what we'll do. Let's actually go over to roster creator then. So, we're going to go load up a roster. Official 2K. We'll, we'll mess around with Joel Embiid because the last, the last thing we messed with was unsuccessful. So the game has refreshed the roster for us. Let's, there's Joel Embiid. He's a 96 in game. Let's double click him. Let's go to attributes. He should change. His overall should change as this overall changes. And there, okay, there we go. Now it's working. Now it's working as intended. I mean, I think the tool was always working in the background. I just think that quick edit screen doesn't show changes to ratings. Okay, so, and then also another thing. So you saw this went down 14 and it says that in game. When we go to, hmm, I wonder does tendencies change anything, but I'm not gonna mess with it right now. I'm gonna go over to badges and then I'm gonna click this little option down here, additional options. Look at this guys, you can go to refresh data or you can go to, well, if we click maximize editing area, it removes the little thing at the top that showed us is overall, so let's keep that there. But you can make all the badges unequipped. You can make them all bronze. That should be B-R-O-N-Z-E. But you can make them all bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame, something like that. So if we make them all bronze, did he just go down? Oh, yeah, because he, yeah, that makes sense. Because he had higher level badges. Let's see, make them all gold. Goes up a bit. Make them all Hall of Fame. Goes up a bit. Okay. So anyway, if I refresh it, what happens? Nothing. Okay, cool. You can copy the badge data to another player if you want it, stuff like that. If I unequip all badges, he's a 77. So let's close this window. I'm gonna save this roster as a test roster. Test roster. And then Let's see if I go over to play now and then load in this roster to quick play. Let's see what we got. Come on. User created roster, test roster. Okay, Joel and B is still in 82. Oh no, wait. He started as a 96. So yeah, that's that's right. He should be in 82. Well, he was a 77 in the other screen, wasn't he? Let's go back and look. I mean, I know for you guys, you guys can just rewind the video and see what he was. But for me, I have to actually go through. Ah, I did the wrong roster. And so I, I'm, this video, the main purpose is to show you what uh, the new additions to this version of the roster editor does. All right, so it doesn't say he's, a, it says he's an 82 now. So something is off. Let me see. All right, let's try this again. Let's try the roster editor again. So let's go to Joel and B. Cause I can't remember if he was actually supposed to be an 82. Joel and B attributes. All right, so I'm gonna go post hook. I just wanna get him down to 80. Yo, okay, now he's in 80. Now that should be easy for me to remember. So now I just need to save the roster, save roster, test roster. 
Okay, then I load it back up. He should be in 80. Test roster. Okay, so it, it worked as intended. That's my bad. Um, I guess I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, it works as intended. And that's great. That's great news. So anyway, now that I've gone over this new feature that uh, the ratings were already there before in the previous version. But now when you go to edit a player's attributes and badges, you can see it change in real time and it will change in the game. Also, just remember to save your rosters, save your rosters after you make changes. This is great. This is great news. Thank you again for this tool, Louis. Um, there's so many options for this stuff. But this video was mainly focusing on showing you this. So I'll get more tutorials out to you guys as the week goes. And then especially on the weekend, you guys got to stay in tune with the channel. If you're interested in this tool and you don't know a certain aspect of it, it's either if you want the tutorial from me, you have to stay in tune with the channel because a lot of times I do tutorials and then, you know, you guys miss them and you'll say, hey, can you do a tutorial on this? And I'm like, hey, I've already done that. And um, you guys are like, hey, can you send me the link to that? And I'm like, OK, now I have to dig back through the videos to send you a link. And I'm like, hey, just like you would have to find it. <laughs> if you ask me for a link, I have to go and find it. And um, it's actually easier if you keep up with the videos or if you go and find it because you got to think. If I'm getting five or six comments for me to find specific videos, that means I have to spend the time finding those six specific videos that each person is asking for. Whereas if you're just one individual and you want to know a video, you can just search for that particular video. Me, I have to search through, you know, I, I think I got over a thousand videos. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, this is just all information. This tool is a great tool. Um, we'll be going over stuff like teams, jerseys, shoes. You guys know if you've been on the channel, you know that I just go over as much stuff as I can. Um, and yeah, this channel doesn't really focus in on a certain aspect. I just like to, you know, give the info that I can, whatever I can. So sometimes it's like, oh man, this guy's all over the place. He did a tutorial about this. He did a tutorial about that, but man, I can't find a specific thing. Well, it's cause I, I try to mix in just about everything. All right. So anyway, till next time I'm the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. I'm gone.